what if Goku was born with Omni Key Part 3? Now, last we kicked off when Goku absolutely demolished Vegeta and Nappa. Now, Vegeta was the last sole survivor that, that survived Goku's onslaught. Goku let him escape out of pure mercy. Vegeta said that this was a mistake and he's, he will regret sparing his life. Vegeta would then fly off and then he would arrive at Frieza, who was taking over a planet per usual drinking wine. Now, Vegeta would state to Frieza that there is a Saiyan, potentially a Super Saiyan. His power level made no sense. He was easily defeated. He killed Nappa and he easily defeated me. Even in like an Uzaru state, we had no, no chance even with that, potentially. This actually kind of piqued Frieza's interest a little bit. There's a Saiyan that's kind of, well, he does admit that Vegeta's pretty weak compared to the subordinates, but that's pretty impressive that he was able to beat Vegeta that easily. And for Vegeta's pridefulness and how ego statistic he is, for him to admit that he got beaten that badly and he was terrified of him, definitely kind of piqued his interest. Frieza will state, will this Saiyan become a problem? And Vegeta states, well, I think he might be heading right towards you. Because then, right behind Frieza's pod is Goku. Goku followed Vegeta across space. Using the Kai Kai, he can go wherever he wants. All he had to do was just find his energy. Now Frieza asked, how did you get in my ship without letting my subordinates know? Goku said it was pretty easy, I just kind of teleported in here. Now Frieza would say, so you're the Saiyan that defeated Vegeta. What brings you here? And Goku states, well, I'm actually going to kill you. You took in over thousands of planets. You were the reason why planet Vegeta was destroyed. Planet Vegeta wasn't killed by no meteor. You were given an order by Lord Beerus to destroy planet Vegeta. Now, Frieza was shocked that Goku knows who Lord Beerus is, and not to mention, how does he know about that deal that they made? But it doesn't matter. Goku states that he's going to end him. And he also heard that Frieza is the strongest being in the universe, other than, of course, the God of Destruction himself. So if that's the case, he wants to see how powerful he is. Maybe he can give him a fight that he's been looking for. So Frieza would then laugh and state, that's not going to happen, you're not even worth my time. So he would try to have Doria and Zarbon enter first, but then Goku would just fire two simple key beams and they would go right through Doria and Zarbon's head, killing them instantly. This would actually surprise Frieza at the level of power and how easily he did that. So Frieza would actually get out of his little space pod, he was still in his first form, and he would say, fine, it's been so long since I've had to exert myself, and then I would have to do this. But very well, Saiyan. I will do that, very much that. So Frieza would then begin his assault on Goku. First form, Frieza has no chance against Goku. Not even a smudge chance at all. Goku was actually kind of bored. He states, so this is how powerful you are? Oh, man. No, he looked kind of let down. He's still the goofy Goku that we know, but he's a bit more thorough, a bit more serious. He says, oh, man. Well, this kind of sucks. I thought that you were going to be a lot stronger than that. As Goku said that, well, he was looking back and forth, kind of confused. And he's like, are you trying? Or are you just, like, testing me? Because you know how we start small, we power up, you know? And Goku's like, well, I know you have to be hiding some form of power. You have to have some sort of transformation or something. So Frieza does just that. Frieza would then transform into his second form. Doesn't work. Third form. Doesn't work. Then his final form. Now, this is when Goku actually kind of can enjoy himself, especially when Frieza goes to full power. Now, Vegeta's just watching this with absolute shock and awe at how Frieza was that powerful, but also how Goku was able to dodge every attack like that. It infuriated him that a low-class Saiyan is that powerful that he can manhandle Frieza. Not to mention, he is the legendary Super Saiyan, apparently. How he can fight Frieza this easily? This does not make any sense. Well, Frieza was beyond scared and beyond furious. He was losing his mind. Pretty much having to fight this version of Goku, there's nothing that Frieza can do. What else can Frieza do? He's, he, out, he went 100% in his final form. He's attacking Goku full force, and Goku's blocking it. You know, Goku powered down to have a little bit of fun, but Goku was kind of getting bored. So he, he'll go to full power, which is easily stronger than Perfect Cell. Way beyond Perfect Cell. Way beyond that. Way beyond the Boo Saga. He would easily kill Frieza. Ending his tirade. Now... Would Goku would first split him in half, so would Frieza still beg for mercy? Obviously. This version of Goku does not spare any mercy. Vegeta, though, tells him no. Let me be the one to kill him. Goku would actually give that to Vegeta, as he knows how much Frieza has tormented him in his life. So Goku respects that, and he steps back, and he lets Vegeta have the fun of killing Lord Frieza. That also makes Vegeta have some form of respect for Goku. At least Kakarot does have some respect in terms of Saiyan-wise, and he also gave him Frieza a kill, which did satisfy him. 
Well, it is true he's not stronger than Frieza, but he did get the last laugh and beat him in the end, and that's all that matters. He killed Frieza. So, Vegeta asks, So what are you going to do to me then? And Goku states, Well, that's up to what choice you want to choose. Now, Goku would then look around and then state, Well, Lord Beerus does need somebody to kind of watch over the universe while he sleeps a long time. That's, that's what he does. He sleeps for hundreds, you know, dozens of years. So, he says, Why don't you take over Frieza's army? But, you do it a different way this time. You don't take over planets and enslave people and torture people and kill them. You don't sell planets for trade anymore. Why don't you do something different? Why don't you fight for good? Maybe you can kind of be the Vegeta Force. And maybe you can work with the Galactic Patrol. And maybe you can potentially work with them and be able to stop major crime around the entire universe. Maybe bounties, criminal activity, stuff like that. And if there are dying planets that don't have a cause in the universe, then why don't you just destroy those and clean up the universe? But then help the ones that do have something, that do have a nice planet, help that planet thrive. Vegeta thinks long and hard about this, and he's like, and what if I say no? And Goku states, then I'll kill you where you stand. Vegeta doesn't really have a choice, and Goku's like, or you can walk away from this. You're a free man. I'm not going to hold you against your will. You can go wherever you wish, as long as you don't cause any evil. So Vegeta states, I'll stay and I'll try to do the best that I can. Goku says, that's all I asked for. Goku would then leave as he was honestly bored. He was kind of hyped up about Frieza being the most powerful being in the universe other than a god of destruction. And then turns out he was really, really weak. And Goku was really let down. But the Grand Priest actually has something for Goku. Something very special. The Grand Priest has a special device and a power that he can use. To where he can actually spawn or create any being that he wishes. Now, of course, this being is just a fake avatar of Ki. So, but it'll mimic and look just like a person. So, Goku might think he's actually fighting the real deal. The Grand Priest has actually set all of this up just for Goku. He wants to push Goku to his limit. So, who does he spawn? Well, Lord Beerus is currently asleep. So, why not maybe spawn somebody pretty powerful? He would pretty much spawn an evil person. It can be any kind of person you want. <clears throat> I'm just going to say, for what it purposes, this being looks like Janimba. Let's just say that, just to have fun. He looks like Janimba. Now this being, the Grand Priest made the being way stronger than Goku currently. Way stronger, uh, pretty much as strong as Beerus. Now, this being, of course, the Grand Priest was faking how he was attacking the universe. He tells Goku to attack it. Now Goku would fly off and begin fighting, basically, Janimba. And this creature was far superior to Goku. Remember, Goku's in his base form. Now, Goku was getting easily overpowered by this creature. Goku tries to think of ideas that he can maybe try to take this thing down. It was way too powerful. So, Goku was losing options here. But now, Goku thinks within himself. To being able to beat this being, I need to be able to use the omnipotent energy within me. I need to harness the power. I don't need rage. Goku was tapping into his Saiyan instincts. All that was doing was actually clouding his mind and making him not being able to, to control this infinite energy. He needs to be calm and tranquil. He needs to control it. And that's what Goku does. He takes a deep breath, he relaxes, and he controls all of the ki harnessing within his body. As then his hair begins to rise. His hair changes color to a bluish color as his eyebrows and his pupils change. His hair, the insides of his hair, was almost like an infinite void of universes. A blue universe. As an ultra instinct like Aura would surround him, Goku has now ascended to the next level of his Omni form. This is the next level. Post in your comments down below if you made it this far, what would you guys call this form? Now this creature that the Grand Priest has spawned, Goku would actually easily be able to kill it. Now the Grand Priest would be clapping. As Goku would then look at his hands, the Grand Priest was so proud of him, saying that, yes, you have now finally reached the next step in your transformation and evolution. This form allows you to access more of the omnipotent energy within you and being able to harness the power of Omni Ki. This form is very special, but you still have much to learn to be able to, con to control the new abilities and powers that you have. So, as for now, I actually have somebody that can actually give you a very good challenge. It's actually one of my children, Whis. He wants to battle you, and I will allow angels to fight, especially if it's to test you for Zeno's sake. So, that is it for this one, if you guys. Thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoy the video, and 
let's get this video to at least 100 likes. And that's it. So thank you all for watching. Let's do the 10,000 subscribers, and I'll talk to you all later.